The floods on Halloween destroyed several homes and damaged hundreds more in southeast Austin. Despite the damage, it's not clear if flood victims will be eligible for federal disaster relief aid. KXA is Don Denny live in southeast Austin with new information tonight about the FEMA report on the flood damage. Don? That's right. We just got off the phone with Travis County Emergency Management, and they did confirm that they had the initial report from FEMA, and it shows more homes with major damage than local agencies initially discovered. It's like swimming up river all day long. Rudy Lopez has insurance, but it's not enough to cover all the damage his house sustained in the floods. They're dragging their feet. You know, we need money to buy supplies so we can start rebuilding, but they're being real nitpicky with everything. Same story for Mario and Winnie Sabrita. They have enough insurance to cover their house, but nothing inside it. I would appreciate whatever the government can give us today. That is echoed down the street. Most here have little or no insurance, and they're waiting for FEMA's decision on assistance. KXAN learned today that the initial report from FEMA is in and shows more homes with major damage than local agencies initially found. When FEMA makes its assessment, it looks at several factors, but three things in particular. The number of homes destroyed, the number of people displaced, and also the threat to health and safety. Federal aid came into Texas after the Bastrop wildfires. In that case, more than $84 million was approved to help more than 1,000 people. In the West explosion, federal aid was initially denied, but Governor Perry appealed and aid finally came, more than $16 million to help nearly 250 people there. I haven't seen anybody from FEMA. Here in Dove Springs, they wait, hoping federal aid will come. All I can do is just uh, hurry up and wait. Now, tomorrow, the official numbers will be released by emergency management on how many homes were actually damaged. A lot of people want to help the flood victims. Unfortunately, that also brings out the scams. Tonight at 6, Lindsey Bransom will take a look at what is a scam and what is not a scam. That's coming up on KXAN at 6. Reporting live from Dove Springs, I'm Dawn Denny, KXAN News.